What is going on, guys? Grave here today. I'd like to talk about the Guilds and Glory celebration, which does begin Thursday, January the 18th, and runs until Tuesday, January the 30th. Throughout this event, you can quest and adventure through Rothgar, Hughes Bane, the Gold Coast, and the Imperial City. Let's go ahead and talk about exactly what's going to go on during this event. You will get double reward boxes earned during daily quest in Rothgar, Hughes, Bane, Gold Coast, Imperial City, as well as Mall of Lorjack weekly quest. Double reward boxes earned during the Thieves Guild Heist and Dark Brotherhood Sacraments. Increased resource node drops. Uh, of course, additional loot from world bosses in Rothgar, Hughes, Bane, Gold Coast, as well as Delve bosses and public dungeon bosses. Additional loot from sweepers and Cold Harbor Elite Guards inside of Imperial City and the Imperial City Sewers, as well as bosses in Maul of Lorjack. Also, additional loot from bosses in Maelstrom Arena, Imperial City Prison, and the White Gold Tower Dungeons. To participate in this event, you'll need access, of course, to the Erysium DLC, the Thieves Guild DLC, and the Dark Brotherhood DLC, which is available, of course, in the Crown Store separately, or if you have an ESL Plus membership, you already will have access to these areas. The Imperial City DLC is free for everyone in the Crown Store. Uh, in the Crown Store, this went free I think a year or two ago. So if you have not claimed that yet, you can go into the Crown Store, into the DLC area, and, in and claim that Imperial City DLC. During the Guilds and Glory celebration, you can earn a glorious reward box once uh, once per day from the first daily quest completed in Rothgar, Hughes, Bane, or the Gold Coast, or by finishing the Maw of Lorjack weekly quest. These re uh, reward boxes can contain things like craftable materials, sellable items, a style item from any of the three areas, so Ancient Orc, uh, Malakath, Trinimac, Outlaw Thieves, Guild, or Abba's Watch, Assassin's League, Minotaur, Dark Brotherhood, or Order of the Hour. So depending on what zone you get those uh, you know your glorious box in you will get that uh, you know item or that style item from that area overland set items companion gear a chance for crafting recipes from the particular zone you're in treasure maps and survey reports from the zone you're in and motif chapters from the zone you're in so in Rothgar it would be ancient orc Malakath or Trinimac uh, Outlaw, Thieves Guild, or Abba's Watch in Hughes Bane, and Assassin's League, Minotaur, Dark Brotherhood, or, or Order of the Hour from the Gold Coast. You also have a chance for the uh, Hunter Outfit Style page. In addition, you can collect more common regular reward boxes by completing consecutive dailies in the event-related zone. These boxes include things like crafting material, sellable treasures, a style item once again from the particular zone that you are in when you get that box, Overland item sets, a chance for companion gear, a small chance for furnishing recipes from the zone you're in, treasure maps from the or survey reports from the zone you're in, and once again, the motif chapters from the zone you're in, and a small chance for that hunter outfit style page. You can receive a second glorious reward box once per day by looting the final boss within the Imperial City Prison, White Gold Tower, and Maelstrom, uh, Maelstrom Arena. You will get pretty much the same things that we have talked about here, you know, crafting materials, uh, sellable treasures, your style items from those particular uh, areas, depending on what dungeon or arena that you're in. But there is one thing that they said you will get one of the following items in these boxes, and that is furnishing recipes, treasure maps, and survey reports, or motif chapters. So you're going to be guaranteed at least one of those. And of course, your chance for that hunter outfit style page. You can also earn regular reward boxes by looting the final boss of an event-related dungeon uh, several times. So if you play those dungeons over and over, you can get those, you know, just regular reward boxes. And pretty much those exact same rewards that I just went over are going to be available uh, in those dungeon boxes as well if you just play those on pretty much repeat. Lastly, you can collect a third glorious reward box once per day after you complete the first Imperial City daily quest or slay your first sweeper boss. Additionally, there is a chance to receive a glorious reward box after uh, felling a Cold Harbor Elite Guard. Uh, these reward boxes may contain the same thing as we have seen in the past reward boxes, but you do have the option, of course, since you're in a PvP zone, to get Tevlar stones in there as well. So, unlike a lot of other events we've had, you only get one glorious reward box every day, and you usually get just, you know, just the normal reward boxes after that. 
since they have had to combine all these DLCs together for one event in the past, these were all split up into different events. Now we have a lot of different, uh, you know, areas in the map that have been added or areas in the game that have been added to the map. Uh, you have to have kind of one of these events combined. And I'm sure we're going to see more and more of this going forward as the game stays out longer and longer and has more DLC. So now you're going to be able to get more glorious reward boxes every day if you want to. Or if you want to stick to just one thing, you can get just one glorious reward box and, of course, normal reward boxes after that. But if you want to go after all three of those glorious reward boxes, you have that choice. Uh, regular reward boxes and glorious reward boxes. Like I said, if you're inside of the Imperial City doing the daily quest, pretty much have the exact same thing as the other reward boxes, except for those Tevlar stones will be added in there as well. As additionally, you can collect future regular reward boxes uh, by participating in the following activities in the Imperial City. So we're like slaying world bosses. Uh, of course, you can do that outside of, you know, Imperial City as well in the other zones like Rothgar, Hughesbane, or the Gold Coast. Defeating the final boss, of course, in any of the dungeons. Uh, White Gold Tower, Maelstrom Arena, or like I said before, Imperial City Prison. Opening treasure chest, opening safe boxes, looting objects such as barrels, crates, uh, looting sigil portals, cracking open thieves' troves, or harvesting, crafting resource nodes. Of course, last but not least, they will have event tickets during the Guild and Glory celebration. You will receive two event tickets for the first of the following activities. Daily Delve and World Boss Quest in Rothgar, or World Boss or Daily Delve in the Thieves' Guild, or Hughes' Bane. Of course, World Boss and Dark Brotherhood Quest in the Gold Coast, Daily Quest in the Imperial City, Weekly trial, trial Quest for Maul of Lorjak, Killing and Looting a Sweeper in the Imperial City, Killing and Looting a Cold Harbor Elite Guard in the Sewers, Killing and Looting a Final Boss in Imperial City Prison and White Gold Tower, or Killing and Looting the Final Boss of Maelstrom Arena. So you have a lot of different ways to get your two event tickets for the day right there. There's a lot of different options, a lot of different things you can, can uh, kind of can do. And by the end of the event, you can have a total of 26 tickets. Just keep in mind, you only can carry 12 at a time. Of course, during this event, you'll have the option to get all three Molog Ball Illusion Imp Pet Fragments, the first of the Master's Marking Fragment, the Bound Style Pages for the Hunter Outfit, the Stone Fire Scamp Pet, the Soul Shriven Skin, the uh, Group Repair Kits, or the Companion Guild Commendations. Of course, the Guild and Glory Celebration is your first chance of the year to purchase the uh, Crematory Ash, the first of the three morphing fragments for the Master's Markings. Anyway, guys, there's a lot going on in this event for this to be pretty much, I would say, the first event of the year. I know there's been a lot of events kind of at the end of last year, at the end of uh, 2023 in ESO, but this is going to be the first big event of 2024. There's a lot going on here, a lot of different zones you can get this stuff done in. So pretty much if you're a PvP fan or a PvE fan, this is going to be an event that you can you know, participate in and pretty much do exactly what you want to do, whether you're wanting to go in the PvE zone or the PvP zone. So leave me a comment with your thoughts, and of course if you like the video, hit the like. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so, and I'll catch you next time. Peace.